In this step, I'm going to show you how to connect to an existing backend service in order to show a list of entities. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, go to vadin.com slash tutorial and click on step three, which is adding a demo backend. And you will find three files there that you need to download and to include in your Eclipse project. These are uh, Java files. So one way of doing it is by uh, selecting all the contents of the file and then uh, you can copy that into the uh, clipboard and select the package where you want this uh, file to be and just paste the, the content directly and Eclipse will create a new file. So let's do the same with the other two files. And what we have now is, uh, is uh, three, three files that uh, are part of this uh, backend. We are assuming it exists. So this is just Java. It's, it's, it's not uh, bad in code. But let's have a quick look at, at, at those files. So the first one is uh, the customer status enumeration with some values there, nothing special. Then you have a customer class, which is basically encapsulating data about uh, customer, like first name, last name, etc., and getters and setters. And there is also a customer service, which is a class we are going to uh, use to, for example, retrieve all the, the customers in a collection. There are also methods to, uh, for example, delete, uh, sorry, delete uh, a customer and save a customer. But uh, let's go back to our UI implementation. And before we start coding anything, let me uh, remove uh, these components here that we are not going to use. And now we can uh, create a reference to the uh, customer service. Let's call this service and well, it's a singleton implementation, so you have to get new instances uh, through this method. Good, so we have the service that we can use to retrieve all the customers, but we also need a VADIN component to show uh, the customers. So in, for this example, we are going to use the grid component from this package, make sure you are uh, importing this class. I'm going to call this grid and go ahead and, and create a, a new instance. <clears throat> right, so now that we have the component, it makes sense to add the component to this layout. So add component grid. And what we need to do now is to add uh, all the customers into this grid component. So let's see how we can do that. First, of course, we need to retrieve all the customers. So we have this find all method that returns a collection of customers. Let's call it customers. And uh, well, there, there are different ways of adding the customers into this uh, grid component. But uh, let me quickly show you one way of doing it, uh, which is the following. You can uh, use the add column method to add, well, columns. And you do it, you, for each column, you assign kind of a property ID. And then after that, you could use the uh, add row method, which receives or accepts all the uh, the values for each column that you have added before. So you can uh, iterate over on this collection in order to add the, the customers that way. But there is a, an easier way, which is using the set container data source method. And, and this method accepts a container, which is kind of a, a wrapper, you could say, to 
for, for, for this uh, list of like entities. And because, well, we are using uh, our custom type, which is customer, uh, we can use the uh, bin item container implementation, which is this one here. And I'm going to use this constructor, which accepts uh, the type, which is customer, and the collection, which is uh, this reference here. So customer.class and the collection is customers. Right, so that should be it with this. Uh, you should be able to see all the customers, but let me uh, do something else here, a quick refactor, because, <clears throat> sorry. If you uh, have a look at these two lines of code, you realize that we are kind of updating the list of customers here. So it kind of makes sense to extract this into a new method and let's call the method update list. And well, we, we will be using this method uh, in a um, later step. So let's make it public. Uh, all right, so we are ready to test this application right now. All right, so if I refresh the browser, then I will see the grid, which is this uh, component here with uh, all the customers and one column per each uh, Java property in the, in the class and in the uh, customer class. So that looks nice. That was uh, very easy to do, but let's just change, change uh, something. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have like uh, a lot of uh, columns here. So maybe we are interested in having just some of them and in a specific order. So how can you do that? Well, that's pretty easy. All you have to do is to call the set columns method. And then you need to specify the property IDs. How do you know the property IDs? Well, for each uh, property here in the customer class, there there is a uh, a property ID in the in the container, so you can use these uh, identifiers uh, in a strings like this to specify the columns. So let's specify this uh, first name and last name, and also email. So let's try that change, and there you go. Now we have only the three interesting. Uh, columns in the grid.